刻むでハモンのビート The JoJo series has gone far beyond its original manga to become a multimedia franchise. There's a large amount of material spread across anime, manga, movies, and video games. This has led to speculation over which of these materials is actually canon. In JoJo discussion, I think the most important thing to be is completely accurate. Speculation about certain topics is welcome, but it's not worth anything if the base underneath is incorrect. A lot of times when people consider supplementary material canon, it ends up conflicting with the source material itself. So I'll be going through all relevant JoJo media and determining which ones would be considered part of the main JoJo continuity. Obviously the baseline for canon material would be the original manga. This is JoJo in a purely unaltered form, straight from Araki himself. So as if there was any doubt, the JoJo manga is canon. After Part 6, a new version of JoJo came into being with Steel Ball Run. Parts 7 and 8 are obviously still canon, but only to themselves. The first six parts don't have any continuity with the later ones. So while they are obviously canon, the two newest parts are part of their own canon. The next form of media to look at would be the anime adaptations. The JoJo adaptations are actually quite straightforward with how the material is adapted. There are some rare additions and omissions, but it mostly stays the same. Those additions, though, are what we need to be looking at here. If something is added in the anime, how exactly can we determine if it's canon? Araki obviously doesn't direct the anime. We do, thankfully, have some accounts of Araki's involvement, which only seems to occur when David Production approaches him directly. It's been said that Araki had a very minimal role in the early anime, but starting from Part 3 onward, they've started to approach him more. For Part 5, the staff asked Araki to provide a scenario for Fugo's backstory. Despite the backstory not being shown in the manga, since Araki is the one who made it, we would consider the backstory shown in the anime to be canon. There are plenty of other things the anime has done, however, like Smokey becoming the mayor of New York City, or the additional scenes of Suzy Q. We have no idea if Araki had anything to do with these, so we can't exactly consider them definitively canon. When it comes to the anime, it has to be on a case-by-case -case basis. Next, we have the spin-off manga created by Araki. Once again, we should look at these case-by-case. Thus spoke Ashibe Rohan and Dead Man's Questions are clearly defined side stories. They exist within the Jojo universe, are made completely by Araki, and don't conflict with anything. So I would say these are definitely considered canon. However, there are still other one-shots made by Araki which wouldn't be counted here. These are obviously Jojo related, but they seem to be alternate continuities that conflict with the original. These can be easily grouped together as the promotional manga. In Jolene, Fly High with Gucci, we see Jolene crossing over with some Part 5 characters, which clearly never happened, and Jolene mentions that her mother is dead, which is untrue in the manga. So this is clearly just a fun short story for Araki's Gucci collaboration with some Jojo characters thrown in. The other manga I would include here is two Rohan chapters, Rohan at the Louvre and Rohan meets Gucci. These two seem to be considered distinct from the Thus Spoke series and exist only as promotion for Araki's crossovers with the Louvre and Gucci, respectively. Rohan at the Louvre directly conflicts with Rohan's backstory, with him using Heaven's Door over a decade before he should have it. Rohan meets Gucci doesn't conflict with anything, but it is shown to be connected to Rohan at the Louvre, so it is seemingly also not canon. Next, we have a couple other manga one-shots made by Araki that may or may not be connected to Jojo at all. The two I want to talk about here are Dolce and His Master, and Under Execution Under Jailbreak. But I would sort of categorize these differently from Araki's older manga like Bao or Cool Shock BT. Since while these two are not connected to Jojo directly, these are included with some Jojo material. Under Execution Under Jailbreak, Dolce and His Master, Dead Man's Questions, and the first chapter of Thus Spoke Ashibe Rohan were published together in one volume. The volume is even titled after Under Execution Under Jailbreak, which is strange considering that's one of the non-Jojo stories that was included. So I would say that those two chapters occupy a sort of gray area of canon. They may or may not be connected to Jojo. In 2020, we received a live-action TV drama based on Thus Spoke Shibe Rohan. 
I went over the list of differences between this series and the source material in my previous video. Needless to say, there are a large amount of changes. This seems to take place in an alternate continuity in an attempt to make the standalone story more focused on Rohan. Two of the three stories that were adapted are written by Araki, and the amount of changes made to these alone is enough to consider this series non-canon. In the same ilk as the TV drama, there's the live-action Diamond is Unbreakable movie. I've also covered the large amount of changes made from the manga in an old video. Since this is an alternate retelling, this would also obviously be non-canon. Next we have the video game, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven. This game included a story mode which crossed over various characters from the series. For some reason this is a big topic in this discussion, since some sources state that Araki had something to do with the story. The sources say that Araki supervised the story, which is vague at best. But regardless of all this, the story clearly conflicts with the existing manga, so I don't know how it's even a debate that this is clearly non-canon. Outside of the normal media of the JoJo series, we have some extra supplementary material like the art books or interviews with Araki. The JoJo art books often come with stand or character profiles written by Araki which can provide new information. Since this information is coming to us from Araki about his own creation, we can assume that it's canon. Also, oftentimes, Araki would be interviewed about certain subjects of the series. A lot of the time he goes into character motivations or thematic elements, and since he obviously created all of these things, we can consider what he says here to be accurate. I've saved the biggest for last, which is the selection of light novels that have been made for the series. I've seen a decent amount of clamoring from Western fans for some of these to receive an anime adaptation. I've gone over my thoughts on that subject in a previous video. The novels include Genesis of the Universe, which was set during Part 3, Golden Heart Golden Ring, which takes place in the middle of Part 5, The Book, Fourth Another Day, which takes place in Morio after Part 4, Purple Haze Feedback, a Part 5 sequel following Fugo, Over Heaven, which is presented as a transcript of Dio's diary as described in Part 6, a collection of short stories based on Rohan, which are written by a few different authors, and finally, George Joestar, a wild crossover between tons of different elements of the series. Obviously, something like George Joestar would be considered non-canon due to its huge changes to continuity. But some people do make a case that the others are canon, since they at least make an attempt to fit within the established story. The problem arises when we have to compare the light novel's continuity to that of the anime. While both are separate from the original manga, the anime seems to be the more official representation. The best example here is Fugo's backstory. Since Fugo lacked a detailed backstory in the manga, Purple Haze feedback developed its own, based on the small amount of information given by Eluso. However, this is conflicted with by the anime, which did the same thing, only with a different result. Because of this, we have two very different Fugo backstories that fit within the same framework. The important thing to note here is that we specifically know that Araki himself provided the Fugo backstory for the anime. This would indicate to us that his role of supervision for the light novels is quite minor compared to something like the anime. I definitely would not discourage reading the light novels, but it's important to remember that any new information provided by them can't really be treated as accurate. Since they're made by different authors, we can't really be sure that what they bring to the table is the same as what Araki would have. So, the light novels are considered non-canon. That's everything there is so far in the JoJo series. There's some pretty interesting stuff hidden among the non-canon material, so I do recommend checking it out. If you want to get updates on new videos, join the new Hum and Beat Discord using the link in the description. If you want to receive rewards like Discord perks and some uncut videos, support the channel on Patreon. And finally, for future videos, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. This is the part of the video where I thank my $5 and up patrons. Thank you to Norden the Lich, Alex Ramirez, Raziana, Anasui Hat, Doorbell, Cloudy, Monkman, Ashton Joseph Miller, Crayon, Jesper Jansen, Austin Nino, and Zucato.